Africa, South Africa, South Africa. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> What's the deal, yo? How are you? Maintaining, man, maintaining. It seems like it because you probably must, you are certainly one of the busiest men, um, I think, in the world of music today. <laughs> I, I, um, I try to stay uh, busy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you spread yourself quite thin as well I mean in the sense that you 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 almost have this insistence on on involving yourself in in every area of the entertainment industry not only music yeah um I get bored real quick at just sitting around doing one thing mm -hmm. uh, a rapper's good a singer's good producing's good mm -hmm. performing's good you know mm -hmm. uh, you know it's like It's like a refugee who got 60 jobs, you know. <laughs> yes, and uh, but I think your only problem is that you you seem to do each and every one of them incredibly well, which uh, you know can be a good thing as well as a bad thing. Yeah, it it, it could definitely become a uh, very fatigue, you know. Uh huh. Um, but um, what I try to do is um, I try to play the chess chess game very, 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 very slow. Mm -hmm. um, and I could definitely see the moves ahead. So, you know, I definitely paced myself, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's that uh, that threat of, of, of early burnout. Um, yeah, I think if I was going to burn out, I would have been burned out, though. Because, <laughs> you know, I ain't stopped working since blunted on reality. True, true, true. And, um, and 25th of July sees uh, the release of Eclectic... Uh, I think August. August. Is it August? It's been pushed. Okay. Yeah, August 22nd. Okay, cool. And um, so, uh, 25 tracks in total with our tags included. Um, I've got uh, my impressions of the album, but um, what is what does this album depict? If, uh, if if you have to sort of look at it, what is it that you you want this album to sort of say to people about Wyclef Jean? Um, I mean, basically, this is the world domination of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Through mm. world beat. Mm. Um, it's just, you know, when I was doing the carnival, you know, I was still a kid. You know what I'm saying? Mm. In search of for what I want to do, but it was all in my head. You know? Mm. Um, I think with the eclectic, I captured the sound mm. of, you know. Mm -hmm. of what I want my next 15 years and 20 years to be like, you know, mm. which is eclectic music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, the fusion of all forms of music in one. Mm -hmm. Because I think when the carnival came out, it was a very, um, I think it was an unexpected album, I think from a lot of people. Um, not that they didn't expect that you could put out an album like that, but it was an album that was certainly, I think, and probably still is in some regards ahead of its time. Yeah, um, The carnival, it was like coming from 17 million records with the Fugees, you know? Mm. And I automatically wanted to disassociate myself with that. Not the Fugees, you know? Mm -hmm. But the quote-unquote superstar shit, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted people to feel like, you know, this is culture, there's real music. Don't forget that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, But at the time, no one was waiting for no Wyclef record. People nah. could give a hooch, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, who is Wyclef? Isn't that the guy who goes one time, two time, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh, so the album came out and people was just, you know, a real good book that you find out about two years later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's That's what the carnival was, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it did great, you know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining as far as the success of it, you know? Mm. It, it's not like it didn't sell, you know? Sure. But, you know. But, I mean, I think um, that album, a lot of people saw it, um, and, and, I mean, it was, I think, the same with Press as well, is that, um, you know, the Fuji's, um, I mean, still has, today still has a, you know, a, a very important part to play in music, but you guys um, had your own thing to say, um, sort of on your own terms and, and the way that you wanted to do it, which um, I think you certainly achieved, you know, with the Carnival. Um, this album, as I say, to me, listening to it, Sounds as if, um, as I say, you certainly sound and and feel sort of relaxed and comfortable with with who you are and where you're going. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
I think um, this is like me, like, okay, I've been in the studio with this person or with this person or with that person. When I do a beat, I can hear who I would like to sing it to capture what emotion, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, in the final version of the album, it's only 17 cuts. Okay. Yeah. So I'm lucky I've got the I've got the limited one. Oh you got what you got? <laughs> I've got the hot shit. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Like because I had to edit it, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. when I was sending it, like when I like to send my stuff to the journalists and stuff, so sure. I like to send them the 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 idea of what I thought, you know? Mm -hmm. Then the record company would be like, yo, this is too long for C D. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. you cut certain skits out or whatever, you know? Mm. Is that is that a good thing man? Um, well, in my situation, I I be getting skit crazy, though, you know? Because mm -hmm. I like to do my albums like you watching television. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it, 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 um, it, it don't, as long as you're not telling me take the songs out, I'm fine. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is not like, you're not, you know, it's just the sequencing is different and mm. shit like that. Because mm. it certainly sounds um, like you like you had a lot of fun on this record as well. And I think in, in some respects, maybe even sort of poked, you know, poked a bit of fun at people as well. Is, is, is that the case? Definitely. You know, um, the hip hop community is a very fickle community. Mm. Uh, Artists like me, I don't have no barriers. Like, there's no such thing as a sellout for me. Mm. Like, my sellout is if you, if you're going to pay my bills, then you can tell me, you know? <laughs> but if you're not paying my bills, it's just the real, it's the ghetto thing. Mm -hmm. Like, don't tell me if I write a song for Whitney, I sold out, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, that's, so, a, that's my concern. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, my thing is, so when it comes to why I clap, why I clap, has breaking that barrier, you know? Mm. You cannot say he sold out. All you can do is say he's the real deal, mm. you know? Mm. He's mm. a songwriter, he's a producer, he's the real deal. And I think a lot of times people who say that stuff, they say that because they can't do all those things. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like, so I had to prove that, yeah, you can be from the hood mm. and do all of this. The talent is there, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, as I say, because, I mean, when I was listening to it, um, I mean, the first time I heard the tracks a couple of weeks ago, I was sort of going, well, um, you know, the purists out there are going to go, oh, you know, hold on a second, um, this isn't typical this you know whereas exactly what you're saying is yes i can take someone like kenny rogers and stick him on my record and what are you going to do about it <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and and on stage you know you can catch me mm. i always have a mic on safety just in case you're ready for a battle <laughs> you know that, that's just the way it is mm, mm, mm. i love rapping you know what i'm saying sure sure that, that's my thing since i've been doing it since i was 13 mm. Mm. But I think in in the process of of, of perhaps doing that, um, you've um, you, you've you've created a perhaps another level, you know, um, of, of the whole hip hop culture, um, in the sense that um, it, it it can embrace so many different elements that you've exposed yourself to, you know, I mean, over the years, and that they all have a place, you know, with, within the genre, which I think is which is refreshing. Yeah, and I think the reason why. It did not work to the advantage of anyone who tried it before me. Mm -hmm. And people said they sold out and then they copped out and got scared and ran from it. Mm. It's real simple. I'm not saying, I'm not going to Kenny Rogers and I'm saying, I want to sing a country record with you. Mm. You know? Mm. I'm saying, yo, Kenny Rogers, I'm from dance hall and hip hop. Mm. I need you to say, yo, big up to men like Beast, men like Wyclef. Mm -hmm. I need you to speak in my lingo. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Then I want you to sing your stuff on top of my rap beats. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm, I'm bringing Carlos Santana, I'm bringing everybody into my hip hop culture. So as long as I do that, I'll be all right. And I mean, were you surprised? I mean, if you take um, Santana as an example, how well um, it, it 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 sort of worked? Because I think you know, typically for for hip hop to go into the mainstream, it was it it it, 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 it seemed easier. But when when you're asking mainstream people to come and talk talk your language, um, mm -hmm. they seem to have embraced it um, equally as well. Probably surprisingly so. I think well. The legends are smart, and they can call the cards, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like hip-hop is in. 
and it's at a whole different level. Mm. And the kids that they're the like Clive is asking Carlos to work with, he you know they're very talented kids. Sure. And I mean that you you've covered a lot of ground uh, on a cliff deck. Um with, you know, I mean, are, are you sort of sort of tamping at the bit saying that there's still so much that uh, that needs to be reworked, so much that still needs to be sort of uh, played with, with, you know, with regards what you could potentially do to the face of, uh, you know, popular music? Um, definitely. Um, I think that eclectic is a start mm. of, you know how it said the year 2000? Mm-hmm. Like, I think, like, Eclectic is a new breed of a fusion of hip-hop on a CD. Mm -hmm. You know, it's never been done like that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, this is, I think, you're just taking, um, to say, certainly taking it to another level. Because I don't think um, I've heard a, a great many renditions of, you know, um, of, of people covering um, songs over time. But uh, Wish You Were Here, yeah, absolutely Mind blowing. Um, I, I think that was the way the song should have been recorded the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the original so well. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to it since I've been 13 years old. Right. So people here go, yo, is that a sample? I said, no, nah, I just replayed the whole record. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and and put your and put your 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 stamp your stamp on it. Yeah, put put the club beat on top of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, are you going to be taking um, a cleftic on the road um, to perhaps you know far flung territories, even to the point well, of I South mean, Africa? Yeah, because I don't. Yeah, I want to do that. I don't. Um, I want to chill out from the producer now. You know. Yes. And I want to go back being an artist, and I want to go on the road and promote my album and just have fun for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to do that. Mm. Because I say you've uh, you've been busy. You've got your finger in a, a lot of different pies, but ultimately, Eclectic is this is is this where Wycliffe is happiest? Yeah, I think me doing music for myself that's coming from inside of myself is always where I'd be happy with because I know those are the stories that people can most relate to, mm. the the real life stories. Mm, mm, mm. And I don't got to make shit up. I could just say, this is what happened to me. Mm. Is it is it difficult for you sort of now, I mean, with the kind of status that you've got and obviously uh, the rewards that have come through that hard work to sort of still be able to sort of take a step back and, and be able to... You know, um, look at where you've come from. You know, look at the people that are buying your records, and, and still, you know, still be able to relate to that. Well, I mean, my mentality is very simple. Um, okay, I'm a a, a slave. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was a king once, mm. but then became a slave. Mm -hmm. But I live in the palace of the king. Mm. You know. Mm. But the, the the king says, okay, slave, I'm going to give you a position. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want you to watch over all these other slaves. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm watching all over the other slaves, I don't think I'm better from those slaves because the king gave me a position. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm one of the slaves. Mm -hmm. And that's the mentality that I do my music with every day. No matter what kind of praises people give me or whatever, mm -hmm. the praise is really for the mass of people from Africa to Brooklyn mm. that feels like they link to my music. Mm. That's who the praise go to. So with that mentality, I can always relate mm. to everybody's situation. Mm, mm, mm. Because, yeah, I mean, I think there's also an insistence on your part to continually sort of contribute where you can and, and perhaps even sort of give back um, a lot that you've, you know, the lot that you've been given. Definitely. And I feel like the link is Africa. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I have you so endure my album. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I feel like from Brooklyn to Africa, mm. the fusion is going to be sick. Something could happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ain't even come out there yet mm -hmm. to tap up with the rappers. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they just blowing it up all over the place. Exactly. So that's the next challenge. 
get on a plane Definitely. and get out to Africa. Yeah, I got to take my shots. That's the only thing that's killing me. I'm like a <laughs> two-year-old kid when it comes to vaccines. Uh, so, did they put it in a pool, then it'll be better. Son, man, please. Like, let me drink some. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wycliffe, thank you very, very much for your time. All right, It's man. been an absolute pleasure talking to you. I'll see you out there, yo. We'll look forward to it. Peace. Thank you.